Okay, so today I have with me out of combined weight of 400 megapixels the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. Oh. It's not every day that I get to have the opportunity to test out. I think ito pa lang nga tayong two phones in the market right now as of making this video to have 200 megapixels as their main sensors. Although do take note of two things. The S23 Ultra is a high-end flagship that costs way over $1,000 US. While the 12 Pro Plus uh, basically costs a fraction of that. Number two is kahit na pareho lang na 200 megapixels yung main sensors ng dalawang phone na to is magkaiba actually yung model ng dalawang sensors na to. Sa S23 Ultra, we have the Samsung HP2 and the 12 Pro Plus naman is the Samsung HPX. So both have Samsung sensors but are different. More specifically in sensor size. So in simple terms, ang main difference ng dalawang sensors na to is yung HP2 is a larger sensor compared to the HPX, which in general is better. On both these phones, meron tayong parehong OIS, pero sa S23 Ultra is uh, meron tayong multi-directional face detection autofocus and laser autofocus, while dito naman sa uh, 12 Pro Plus is meron lang tayong face detection autofocus. And take note, magiging comparison lang to ng 200 megapixel sensors ng dalawang phone na to, and hindi kasama yung ibang sensors like yung ultra-wide, uh, yung selfie camera, and also, both these phones take by default 12 megapixel bend shots. Okay, unang gagawin muna natin is let's play a game. Yes, oo. Ito siguro yung first ever interactive shit na gagawin ko sa video ko. Uh, so, gagawin ko muna nga is papakita ko sa inyo lahat ng pictures na tinake ko uh, gamit ang S23 Ultra and 12 Pro Plus at the bend uh, 12 megapixel shots and hindi mo na yung full 200 megapixel shots as mas obvious actually yung uh, difference doon. It's about picture na papakita ko. Pause the video. Uh, lagay niyo yung answers niyo in the comments. For example, picture 1, uh, left is yung 12 Pro Plus, and sa right is yung S23 Ultra. No cheating, mga kaibigan. And sa testing ko is enough ko actually lahat ng mga parang uh, enhancements na meron ng Xiaomi and Samsung para makita talaga yung pinagkaiba ng uh, image processing ng uh, Samsung versus Xiaomi. And syempre, since much better and larger yung sensor ng uh, S23 Ultra, is uh, makikita din yung advantage nun. So hopefully hindi kayo nag-skip sa part ng video na to uh, kasi na-miss yung game natin but yeah, sa mas magot, uh, here's the answer. Sa lahat ng mga pictures na pinakita ko sa inyo, uh, the one on the left is the uh, 12 Pro Plus while uh, the one on the right is the S23 Ultra. Sa mga napaisip na wala namang pinagkaiba yung 12 megapixel shots ng dalawang phone na to, uh, upon careful inspection is much oversaturated although konti lang ang colors and much better ang dynamic range sa S23 Ultra but other than that pretty much the same lang sila in terms of detail and dito talaga pumapasok yung hindi lahat ng bagay is makikita mo in the spec list lalo na kung uh, yung company is na advertise yung uh, sensor sa phone nila is 200 megapixels tapos nililive out yung ibang details like yung uh, model ng sensor, yung size, uh, etc. Pero, paano naman yung 200 megapixel shots sa dalawang phone na to? Well, dito actually talagang nag-flex yung S23 Ultra. So, sa 200 megapixel shots ng dalawang phone na to, is definitely much better ang photo sa S23 Ultra compared sa 12 Pro Plus as basically much more detail, more oversaturated, and overall, better yung shots sa S23 Ultra. Nakala ko na parang may a filter or enhancement uh, yung S23 Ultra na inon when shooting at 200 megapixel shots pero um, chinek ko wala naman uh, talagang may ginawa lang ata yung Samsung sa image processing ng uh, S23 Ultra na akala mo nga is may filter or enhancement to. Although not a huge fan ako ng pag crank ng saturation ng photos dito tapos sa uh, 12 Pro Plus is basically in-increase lang nila yung detail without much advantage to shooting in 200 megapixels. Tapos in low light, sa default na 12 megapixel shots is parang pareho lang sila and I don't blame you for thinking that. Uh, parang ganon din sa paningin ko. Although ironically, 
way better yung performance ng S23 Ultra in the 200 megapixel mode in low light compared to the 12 Pro Plus kasi established na na yung high megapixel count and low light don't go well together. So not sure kung anong sorcery ang ginawa ng Samsung but hey it works while parang the same shot lang sa 12 Pro Plus and 200 megapixels. And finally on the video side naman recording in 4K 30fps is almost the same lang sila although much better again in dynamic range ang S23 Ultra. And yeah, kahit ang obvious winner dito is yung S23 Ultra, uh, you've gotta give props kay Xiaomi as ang ganda din actually ng ginawa nila sa software and image processing neto, uh, dun sa 200 megapixel sensor neto. And legit, ang gandang offering actually ng 12 Pro Plus in the market although uh, hindi pa siya nararelease dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, sometime this April ata, irarelease tong uh, 12 Pro Plus. So sa mga naghahanap dyan ng smartphones, yan ang habol lang talaga nila is yung camera, solid camera experience, almost flagship like yung uh, camera experience. Uh, easily recommended ko to, yung uh, Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. And of course, considering din yung price, is uh, hard to beat talaga yung S23 Ultra. Uh, talagang ano, malupitang phone, malupitang everything actually. Pretty much all around na phone to. And while yeah, I wouldn't normally recommend a smartphone uh, that costs over $1,000, um, hey, if you're gonna spend over $1,000 on a smartphone, then uh, for me, this is it. And this Saturday actually is upload ko na yung uh, video and comparison ko ng uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Pro and Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. So abangan nyo nga yun. Be subscribed for that. And oo, oh, oh, alam ko, alam ko, may mga magsasabi dyan in the comments na sobrang unfair naman ang comparison mo kasi over $1,000 to tapos ito mid-range smartphone lang yan. Well, binanggit ko na nga sa simula ng video and wala akong pake kasi na-curious lang talaga ako how does a 200 megapixel sensor on a thousand dollar phone compared to a 200 megapixel sensor on a phone that basically costs a fraction of this. But yeah, hopefully na-enjoy nyo naman to kahit papano. Uh, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.